noise. with only a single punishment. Eternal imprisonment. They can lock me up, but they can't kill me. Kid? As a spirit fair, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they'd like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional guarding collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the Creation Furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in Fictual Garden. Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. One possessing Huahua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I have never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial Ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She's coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. They even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. As starfire essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being, but they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The San Zhou will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. Tail? Mr. Tail? What kind of judge am I? If 
I were stronger, Mr. Tail wouldn't have had to sacrifice himself. It was because of him that I ended up in this terrible job. And I thought so much about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. But now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! Wait... You're right. Madam Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail... He... He must still be out there somewhere! <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job! Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenyphen's friend, Miss Sushong. I can't leave my post, so, uh, could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. <sighs> Thank you. I'm much better now. Could you please let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too, and maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. Oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later. Boredom is killing me. The only entertainment I have around here is watching the insects fly by. Speaking of which, seems one of them has come to visit me. No wonder. Is she here to taunt me? Or implement some sort of restorative justice? We'll just have to wait and see. The 
Ten Lords Commission judges won't abandon one of their own, but they won't let me off the hook either. So now I'm stuck here, condemned to eternal boredom. <laughs> I wonder which will last longer. The lifespan of my jailers, or the patience of a Heliobus. In any case, time is on my side. So long as the Sienjo are willing to maintain some facade of humanity. Surrender? Why would I do that? To you. I may as well be fighting an unwinnable battle. Wasting my time away in someone else's body. <laughs> but for me? Oh, the game has only just begun. The Ten Lords Commission doesn't have any moves left. And I still have time to turn the game in my favor. You know... It wasn't that long ago that you and those judges would have become my pawns. If it wasn't for that meddling guard dog. If you have nothing to say, then run along and let me be. In order to catch Heliobi on the run, the Ten Lords Commission has devised a few... Uh, gadgets. <laughs> There's always this peculiar smell coming from that person. I can't bear it anymore. Finally here. Without you, our ghost hunting squad would be nothing. Hey, I'm a reliable squad member too. Sure, when you're not passed out in fear. <laughs> Cut it out. If you keep teasing me, I, I, I'm not gonna perform my boulder smashing trick for you anymore. The official name is the Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Helio by Containment Breach Incident. That was the name given to us by decree of the Ten Lords. Since we managed to survive the Fixtral Garden Incident, the Ten Lords decided to entrust us with hunting down and subduing the Helio by using our special skills. That's right. This expedition was commissioned by the Ten Lords themselves. I am unsure as to why they attached so much importance to this endeavor. But I have a theory. Whoa, 
Hua is a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and I'm a Cloud Knight. We must answer the call to the best of our abilities. And this one here is an Outworlder who's done great things for the sake of the Sienjo. But why did little Gui have to get dragged into this? This mission is too dangerous for a civilian. Ugh, I get it. You don't think I have any special skills, so I'll just get in the way? Every flower and tree on the Xianzhou is significant in its own way. Miss Gui has her own strengths, too. As a famous street performer and live streamer, she has precisely the skills we need to acquire intel for our mission. Miss Gui has set up a social media account under the guise of investigating paranormal phenomena and unexplained mysteries. We can use it to gather intel for our mission. You hear that, Su Shang? I'm a key member of the squad! They said I could be a Ten Lords Commission intelligence hawk! Uh, I might not be a scholar, but I don't think calling someone a hawk is a compliment. The Ten Lords Commission has specially entrusted Judge Huohuo with commanding the Ghost Hunting Squad. So please make sure to follow her lead in all matters related to the Helio Bai. Uh, that's right! I won't let us down! Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost hunt now? Uh, Captain? You can just call me Hohua. Oh, I'm really surprised that Madame Hanya asked me to be the leader of the ghost hunting squad. After Tail disappeared, I thought for sure the commission would ask me to resign. But for some reason... Um, Anyway, I'll do my best to carry out my duties. As for our mission, Cirrus was locked up in Fixtral Garden, but there are a lot of other Heliobi that escaped after the Creation Furnace was broken. According to the Ten Lords Commission understanding of Heliobi behavior, they tend to roam densely populated areas in search of hosts. And wherever they go, there are bound to be reports of... Supernatural phenomena. Little Gui, can you show us the website we'll be using for intel? User, so I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we still have to go out and fact-check the leads? Mm hmm? Plus, the spirit bearers from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Speaking of attracting attention, how do we get a following on a paranormal activity website? Sounds like Little Gui's department. She used me and some of her performances just to draw a bigger crowd. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the easy part. We just post some videos of us ghost hunting, er, uh, I mean, subduing Heliobi. 
We're working for the Ten Lords Commission, after all. We're gonna have the best content out there! Madame Hanya has already given us the green light. We'll record our helio by hunting expeditions to get more followers, and then use the intel from our followers to find more helio by. It's like a vicious cycle. W wait, a virtuous cycle. Wait, aren't we supposed to be operating in secret? Well, another thing we have to think about is that helio by feed on the emotions of their hosts. They can even manipulate a host into revealing their deepest secrets. Wouldn't posting a victim's personal information online uh, uh, cause even more harm to the victim? Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pick holes, just raising some concerns. The way I see it, operating in secret and exposing the paranormal go hand in hand. We won't reveal the names of any victims. We'll just post some pics and videos of the squad engaging in fierce battles with the supernatural. And then come up with some dramatic titles. Like, Little Grey Investigates. Ghost tries to scare young Cloud Knight girl on Creepy Road. Gets owned. You know? We'll turn the entire Helio by hunting process into regular uploads. Viewers will see that there's nothing scary about it, and there won't be any public panic. Why are you looking at me? Want a medal or something? It does kind of sound like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. Mm, I feel like some of you aren't convinced by the whole online ghost hunting thing. How about this? We take a look at the leads we have so far, and pick one to try out as a test run. Take a look. This post is getting tons of comments. Lady Bailu disappeared? That's nothing new. She sneaks off all the time. That's not the point. Here, read this part. One of the healers from the Alchemy Commission had Lady Bailu cornered. But then she disappeared into thin air! Judging from the comments, there were several witnesses. Sure, Lady Bailu runs away all the time. But disappearing into thin air? Hmm, it looks like the work of a Heliobus. The Heliobi are masters of manipulating the senses. There are stories of Heliobi changing their shape and appearance to disguise themselves as someone else. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get moving and see if we can find some witnesses. Before we head out, let's make sure we have our intel in order. If we can better understand what a Heliobus wants to do, and what it's capable of doing, it'll be easier for us to help the victim. Interviewing witnesses might give us some clues, but they won't know anything about Heliobi. I, uh, I think I have an idea. We have another source of intel we could use. That's right! Those Heliobi were locked up in the same space for ages! They probably got to know their fellow prisoners like the back of their... Uh... <laughs> I guess they don't really have hands. The thought of seeing Cirrus sends shivers down my spine. But, uh, I bet Cirrus would be eager to see me again. <laughs> They'd devour me whole if they could. I think Tail made a fool of Cirrus. And Cirrus has held a grudge ever since. 
If we can get them worked up over it, we might be able to use them to our advantage! Miss Trailblazer, do you think we can really catch Helio by this way? I guess we have to give it a go. I don't see any other options. Mm, I can't help thinking that if Tail is out there, there'll be traces of him on the internet. He had a big personality. <sighs> Do you think I'm just getting myself into more trouble? It's not like we were good friends to begin with. But when Tail disappeared, my tail, my real tail, it disappeared too. And now my reflection looks weird to me and I hate work even more than before. <sighs> Maybe that's, that's all just a bunch of excuses. The truth is, I miss him. Thank you. If we're ever going to find Tail, now is the best chance we have. Uh, of course, finding Tail isn't our top priority right now. We need to catch and subdue all the fleeing escaped Helio by as soon as possible. Let's see. Ghastly Gravy. Ghastly Gravy? What kind of website is that? Ugh, it's Ghostly Grove, not Ghastly Gravy. Ghostly Grove is the most renowned website for paranormal enthusiasts in the Lawfu. Everyone who loves the mysterious and the unexplained knows about it. I used to go there to read first-hand accounts of ghost sightings whenever I needed to build up my courage. We can get our leads from this website and then investigate them posing as paranormal investigators. That means we can operate more efficiently and with a low profile. Well, if people started to see a spirit fair making door-to-door -door visits, they might begin to panic, and that would give the Heliobi even more power over their hosts. Look, I'm a new user, so I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we still have to go out and fact-check the leads? Hmm? Plus, the spirit fairies from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Little Gwei's methods can be a little unorthodox, but that's just because she has a vivid imagination. When it comes to getting things done, she's actually pretty reliable. <laughs> I'm worried you don't trust her plan. Just relax. Little Gwei is unbeatable. Not her area of expertise. <sighs> like the time Gwen Ipen dragged me to the fixed troll garden so I could protect her. But I was so scared, I ended up fainting. But while I was passed out, she went and caused all kinds of trouble. I neglected my duty of keeping her from making a mess of things. But I'll redeem myself this time. I'll make sure to protect her. Uh, and also keep an eye on her. That being said, why did you decide to come back into this mess? Dealing with Heliobi isn't an easy task. you if you wanted to join the ghost hunting squad. We just took you in by default. Sure you don't want to reconsider? It's not too late to change your mind. Good point. May as well see it through. 
I can't stand the thought of those things roaming free. After what little Gwei and I went through, I'm not about to let them have their ghostly way. Miss Trailblazer, it is good to see you are doing well. During the Fixtral Garden incident, my sister gave the order to seek reinforcements. It was thanks to your support in that critical moment that we were able to get the situation under control. I wanted to thank you. And now this small team needs your help too. She sustained heavy injuries in the previous instant. Fortunately, my sister is using an Ingenium body. As long as she returns to the coffin and is tended to by the spirit fairers, her life is not in jeopardy. I still worry about her, though. Creatures of flesh and blood fear death and will always strive to preserve their life. But not my sister. Her human instinct for survival is slipping away. She sees herself more as a tool, driving her body to the point of total exhaustion. Every time she fights like that, I can't bear to watch. In most matters, I would say no. But when dealing with Heliobi, I think the answer is quite clear. The Ten Lords Commission have long specialized in suppressing abominations, but they were negligent in guarding against the dangers of the Creation Furnace. Once it became a problem, the Spiritfarers and Arumatons were powerless against the Heliobi, proving that the traditional means of subduing them were no longer effective. As fate would have it, the girl we unwittingly rescued many years ago became the key to defeating Cirrus. After this is all settled, we intend to make contact with the Xianzhou Juming. That ship is under the influence of the mythical Rainbow Arbiter. The people there are able to coexist with the Heliobi, and at the same time be free from their manipulation. We hope that from them, we can learn the art of breaking free from the influence of the Heliobi. Did you really think we were messengers from another plane visiting the world of the living? <laughs> How cute of you. And maybe we are. Don't get too close, or you might turn into a ghost too. The precise location of the Ten Lords Commission is highly confidential. But you have contributed much to the Senjo and are very close to the secret. If you wish to know more about it, I will have to ask you to spend time with our ghost hunting squad. A judge of the Ten Lords Commission has no past. Once one has entered the surface of the Commission, all links with the outside world are severed. However, since you are now a member of the squad, and in the interest of everyone working together, it's best that we know each other a little better. I'll tell you some of the secrets I know. After Ignamar was defeated by the General in a great battle, the Ten Lords Commission was ordered to seal away the Heliobi fragments. To make them atone for their actions, most of the Heliobi were sealed inside the Creation Furnace. Decades ago, the Ten Lords Commission was asked to investigate an unusual case. A Foxian girl's tail had been consumed by a strange fire of unknown origin. So we set out, ready to subdue whatever foul demon awaited us. It turned out that the fire was none other than a Heliobus. 
The remaining fragments of Ignamar, the Heliobi, had found some way to escape from their furnace prison. That Heliobus's power was weakened to the brink of death. But he was kept alive thanks to the kindness of the Foxian girl. Gradually, he regained his strength and rekindled his desire to manipulate humans. Normally, I would have just purged the Heliobus and sent it back into the furnace, but Ho Ho's body was too frail and weak to perform a purging. The best I could do without harming her was to inscribe a talisman seal, enough to subdue the thing living inside her, at least for a while. The Ten Lords commissioned to Kuo Hua in as a spiritfarer apprentice, teaching her the arts of purgation and ghost hunting. This way, the commission could keep an eye on Huo Hua and ensure that she wasn't taken over by the Helio bus. Perhaps all those long years with Huo Hua have bestowed upon that Helio bus some form of human compassion. Hale has never given up on attempting to break free of his bonds or usurping his host. He has fought against his own kind to protect Huo Huo. <laughs> I would save the jokes for later. As the saying goes, with great work comes great rewards. The Ten Lords Commission will compensate you accordingly. I've wondered at times what the Luofu should give the Nameless in return for their great deeds. Alas, questions like that are above my pay grade. That is for the Ten Lords and the General to figure out. Even the insects can't hold my attention any longer. I wonder if these ones will prove to be more entertaining. Cirrus, we've come to ask you a few questions. I hope you'll be cooperative. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the little girl who fainted in Fixtual Garden the moment she encountered the Heliobi. Already talking to me like a detective, are you? Hey, where's my sword? You just wait! <sighs> okay, okay. I just wish I could teach them a lesson. Cirrus, you must be unhappy with how things turned out, right? What do you want from me, little fox girl? You want to know what happened to the guard dog? He turned to ashes a long time ago. I... I don't care about that at all. But I can't help but notice. You managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here, unable to move an inch while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? Huh. I can do that. Under one condition. I wish to arrange a challenge. One akin to the struggle between the great Heliobus Ignamar and the General of the Lafu. As long as you can bring me the current General, anything can be negotiated. 
The general? What? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> it seems the judge here doesn't have what it takes to negotiate with a Heliobus. That's just another way of saying they don't want to cooperate. Huh? Wait, Wawa, you can't seriously be thinking about... Deal! I'll submit a request to the Seat of Divine Foresight. Bring me the current general of the Lofu, and we can talk.